Welcome, Merry Christmas. I'm Eugene Davidovich, reporting from San Diego, and from everyone here, we wish you a joyous and Merry Christmas. In today's segment, I'd like to talk to you about jury nullification and jurors' rights. Every day, more and more juries across the country are refusing to convict and now even consider marijuana cases. Just this week in Missoula County, Montana, a jury exercised their discretion and refused to even hear a case where possession of one-sixteenth, that's right, one-sixteenth of an ounce was being prosecuted. They couldn't pick a jury after the majority of the jurors one after the other said no way could we convict somebody for having one sixteenth of an ounce. The media is reporting this as mutiny. Well, in reality, this was the people exercising their rights. Their rights to review the law as well as the facts. The judge is just supposed to be there to conduct the proceedings in an orderly fashion and maintain the safety of all the parties involved not legislate from the bench as we saw Judge Howard Shore do here in San Diego at the Jackson trial. We've seen this jury rights and nullification campaign come all the way down here to San Diego in our very own state and federal courts, as well as our local chapter calling for and participating in jury education weeks several times throughout just this year. The jury is there by design to prevent oppression by the government. The jury's role as a check on official power is, in fact, its intended function. Contrary to the widespread myth populated by judges, there is no law, absolutely none, that requires juries to convict every man and woman shown to be technically guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. The power of the courts to do any kind of punishment on jurors for wrong verdicts or corrupt verdicts was banned and banished from our laws centuries ago. Juries cannot be punished for their verdicts. Today, our system of justice is committed to the right of criminal juries to err on the side of mercy and to refuse to convict even though the evidence supports the charge. Nullification is every bit as lawful as leniency extended by the prosecutor, the judge, the governor, or even our own president. Sometime in the future, you may be called upon to sit in judgment of a sincere individual being prosecuted or, as we see too often here in San Diego, persecuted for trying to exercise his or her rights. If so, remember that in 1804, Samuel Chase, Supreme Court Justice and signer of the Declaration of Independence, said, the jury has the right to judge both the law and the fact. Get involved in our jury education campaign and help spread the word. Let's stop the unfair prosecutions of medical marijuana patients once and for all. To learn more about your rights as a juror, visit the Fully Informed Jurors Association website at FIJA.org and download their Jurors Handbook as well as all of their other materials. Thanks for listening to another San Diego ASIN News Brief. Visit SafeAccessSD.org for local news and information. Visit SafeAccessNow.org to join ASIN.